Hey, what's up, YouTube? This is Chris, and this is my channel, Barn on 11970. Thank you, as always, for checking out my video. This will be a relatively quick one today. I know I always say that, but uh, I'll try and keep it under 45 minutes. But uh, I want to talk a little bit about hemp, otherwise known as cannabis, otherwise known as the illegal form of marijuana. Now, I'm not going to sit here and promote any kind of illegal drug, but people need to understand what cannabis really is. Um, there are so many benefits from the actual natural plant that it's it's actually scary when you actually can see what cannabis can do. And I'll, I'll just give you a rundown of certain things that cannabis actually can do. Some of it may seem like no big deal at all. Some of it is incredibly important. Um, things that could be made from or with cannabis, you can make salad dressings, lacquer, ointments, lotions, varnish furniture, mats, animal food, oil for lights and fuel and lighting, lubricants, auto body work, charcoal, bricks, gasoline, which includes methanol, sealant, paint, fiberboard, caulking, explosives, which hopefully no one will ever use, plastics, shoes, sails, soap, lace, nets, clothes, maps, rope, food, paper, fuel, and most the important, medicines. Now, the ironic part is hemp could be grown anywhere. It actually, you need less space to be able to make fuels out of hemp. I don't condone smoking it. Obviously, there are some benefits from smoking marijuana, but if, if smoking marijuana is like, for example, somebody having a cell phone and using it as a back scratcher. You're not going to get the true benefits of it, and that's what they want to focus on. They want to smoke. They want to focus on people smoking the plant, and that's the crime. Now, if you think about it, even if smoking marijuana is good for you, and I'm not going to say either way if it is or it isn't. I'm no doctor, and I haven't researched it that deeply. But let's just assume it was 100% good for you. The thing that damages people the most that they don't even realize, and this is the same in cigarettes, yes, the tar, nicotine, and all that other stuff is a factor. But one of the things people don't realize what causes the most problems with your lung tissue is the inhalation of the heat. Because your alveoli, which is what transfers oxygen into your bloodstream, is microscopically thin. And just imagine taking a piece of paper and holding a flame under it. A yeah, nice piece of paper. My cat decided to munch on it. But take a piece of paper and hold the light underneath it, not touching it, and you'll see it'll start to brown. Well, when you inhale anything like a cigarette or even marijuana or whatever you're smoking, the actual heat that you're pulling down into your lungs is what actually causes the burning of your lung tissue. Then you add all the other wonderful ingredients like the tar and nicotine and whatever other chemicals they place in these things, you're causing even more damage. But they want to focus on the, the part of the smoking. And they don't want people to focus on the fact that this could turn into fuel, it could turn into food, it can create paper, it could be done cheaper, you could do it in your own backyard. It's the whole thing. How can they profit off of people if they could do things and make things on their own? So people have to start understanding there is more to it than what they try and punish people for. It's their way of saying, we want you to stick with our oil. We want you to stick with our genetically modified foods. We want you to, to uh, deal with our plastics, which leak toxic chemicals into your beverages or whatever it's containing. And we want to profit off of it because you cannot make that in your backyard. Or if you could, it's not easy. But yet, Cannabis is nothing more than a plant. So for all the people out there that are religious, well, that's a plant made by God, if that's what you want to believe. So how is it bad? It's just they turn it into something bad. And if you tell a lie long enough, it becomes the truth. So I think it's time that things like cannabis, especially for its oil, should be brought out to the public in awareness of what it really can do. Because just imagine if you had the capability of growing your own fuel in your own backyard. 
growing your own food in your own backyard, creating your own paper in your own backyard, creating your own medicines in your own backyard. They don't want that because the medical industry is nothing more than a business and they profit off of you being treated and not cured. And that's why some people will say things like what I'm speaking now are crazy, but yet they will justify if they ever, God forbid, get cancer, they will go to a medical field, a medical industry, pay thousands of dollars to have them pump poison and toxic radioactive chemicals into you. That's not crazy. To each their own. So like I said, I'm going to keep this video relatively short. You should look up cannabis oil, and you'll understand why governments make it illegal. They try and focus on the fact of people smoking it. But like I said, smoking marijuana is the same as using this cell phone to scratch your back. Yes, you could scratch your back with it, but probably not the best way to utilize its capabilities. So it's the same thing with cannabis. Yes, you could smoke it, and yes, you'll get some calm, soothing effect. But if you understood what the oil can do for humanity, you're wasting it and just blowing it up in smoke. It's time the truth starts getting out, guys, and you know I will try my best to do that. So if you appreciate this stuff, like it, share it, post it on your um, Facebook and other social networks, because obviously I need your help because my message is not getting out on my own. It's getting to a few people, so I'm proud of that. But if this is going to do any change, I need your help. So if you're willing to do that, as something as simple as hitting a like button, favor button, and copying the link and posting it on your social networks, I appreciate it. Other than that, there are no requirements. So thanks for watching, guys. Enjoy the rest of your day. And don't forget, forget to have your trolls spayed or neutered. Peace.